Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk a little bit more about 4-H and raising broilers for show. So last week we talked about broilers and the difference between them and laying hens. And you know, then a couple of days ago we talked a little bit about 4-H and 4-H in Upshur County. So today we're going to kind of mix those two and talk about raising broilers for show. So here in Upshur County, you know, it's already time to start getting ready for the Amboree, which is, you know, of course in October, and then the Harvest Festival, which is a cup, is the week after that in Longview. So here in Upshur County, you know, kids are already started, you know, getting their livestock projects ready. They've got steers and heifers, people are starting to look for hogs and sheep and goats, and you know, maybe start contacting some breeders about rabbits. But broilers are a little different. So here in Upshur County, all the broilers come from the same hatchery. So a hatchery is where all the chickens are born. So everybody starts on the same playing field. So we all, you know, you tell me your orders, how many, you know, how many orders you want or how many chickens you want. So once we get the chickens, which is, you know, the end of August or the beginning of September, then we've got those chickens for, you know, about six to eight weeks. So broilers are a pretty short project, you know, six to eight weeks isn't very long compared to steers or heifers you might have for a year, you know, lambs, goats, pigs you have for months on end. So, you know, broilers and rabbits as well, they're a much shorter term project. But in that, you know, six to eight weeks, a lot happens. So when we first pick our chickens up, um, when I first pick them up, they're about a day or two old. So they're tiny. So just... You know, they would just come out of the incubator like ours are. So when we, you know, we get them, they're a day or two old. And in that six to eight weeks, they grow to be full-size chickens that are ready to be processed. So that's when we would show them. So when we, you know, we get about 20 birds and we start culling them right away. So we start taking out the small ones right away because we want our chickens to be the biggest and the best. Everything is a competition at the Amberie, of course. So we want our chickens to, you know, be the best they can be. So in that six to eight weeks, you know, we have to get their housing prepared is number one. So before they eat, we even get them, they have to have adequate housing. So they have to have a good place that is predators can't get them. Um, they have to be kept warm at the very beginning. So just like the chicks that we're hatching, we're going to put a heat lamp on them to keep them warm. And then a few weeks later, they're going to have to be kept cooler. It is September, October in East Texas, and it gets pretty hot, or it's still pretty hot most of the time. So we have to keep them cool later on. So housing, they need fresh bedding, so they need fresh shavings all the time to keep them clean. Um, and they, you know, need to be able to, you know, be kept safe, like we already talked about. Um, past that, after that, is feed. So they have to be, you know, started on a really high protein feed. So we usually talk about that um, when we order our chickens. So we usually start them on like a turkey starter or something really high in protein. Um, and then we'll ch we'll switch feeds, you know, a week or two later. Um, but it's really important. We're always constantly looking at our chickens and culling them, you know, every few days. So after that, we talk about water and how important water is. So just like for our pets, they always have to have fresh water. It's extremely important for our broilers to have fresh water. So when we first get them, you know, the first day we'll put electrolytes in it. We'll dunk their little beaks in it to make sure they'll drink. And then every 24 hours or every day, we have to change their water and make sure they have fresh water. So just like our pets want to drink fresh water, so do our chickens that we're raising to show. So it all happens, you know, so fast. So just because it's a short project, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, when I was showing chickens, I would get up at 10 o'clock at night and 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'd have to go stir them and wake them up and make sure they were going to eat and drink because I need them to get, you know, get big as fast as possible. So that it teaches you, you know, time management and dedication and you know different skills that are preparing you for the real world did i like waking up at 10 o'clock at night and two o'clock in the morning no i did not but i'm extremely competitive and i wanted to win and by doing that my broilers did very well at our county show 
So, you know, if you're competitive like me, you'll do those things. Um, now, we're getting ready for our end goal, which is the Yamboree. So, you know, if you make the sale at Yamboree or you don't, um, either way, you should still be proud of, you know, raising these chickens and doing all that you could do, you know, to raise them to the best of your ability. In the end, that's all that, you know, really matters. But it always is nice to make the sale and get that payback. Um, we can talk a little bit about cost. So the main cost for chickens is housing. If you've already got the housing, that's great. Or for broilers, for show, if you've already got the housing, that's great. Um, that's the most expensive thing, but if you're gonna show them for years to come, you'll have that always and, you know, it's an investment. The chickens are, you know, relatively cheap. They're, you know, in the, you know, about $30, $36. Um, the feed, you'll have to, you'll go through a few bags of feed, um, you know, $20, $25, um, per bag. Shavings, um, you know, those vary wherever you pick them up. And then, you know, water troughs, um, feed troughs, um, you don't have to have anything special to show them that day. You just, you know, hold them by their legs and let the judge feel them. So it's pretty simple. You don't have to, you know, have any, um show halters or anything else like you do for some of our other livestock projects. Um, but broilers are super fun. It is so cool to see them, you know, go from our little chicks to these big chickens that weigh, you know, eight or 10 pounds, 12 pounds in such a short amount of time when they start off, you know, just a few, you know, ounces or grams. So it, you know, it goes super fast. So I hope you learned a little bit more about raising show broilers. Um, if you're interested in it, we've still got time to get some orders in for Gamboree and Harvest Festival. Um, and if you have questions about anything else, please let me know. If you have thought about, you know, showing a steer or a heifer or a lamb, a goat, uh, well, we don't have a lamb show at the Gamboree, but we do have one at the Harvest Festival. Um, you can show goats, you can show pigs, rabbits. We've got all those shows at the Gamboree. So, you know, just contact me um, if you, you know, need my information. You can go on our Facebook page. You can go on our Upshur County um, website online. And um, you can get my email. Um, it's, my name is Caitlin Slover. I'm, I'm pretty easy to find on the website. So if you have any questions, just holler at us. Okay, so we've got our plastic embryo eggs, and we've got day 14. Remember on day 14, he was going to move his head to the fat part, so to down here, which he was not exhibited in this. And then on day 15, his stomach moves into his body. So I don't know if we can see that on day 14. You can't really tell but his stomach is now moving into his body. So we can still see his feathers, his feet. Um, he's starting to really look like a chicken. So if we could see inside our embryos, you know, inside our eggs and in our incubator, that's what they would look like. So our incubator is sitting good. I just looked at it and um, it's at 57% humidity and 99.5. So we're still sitting good. So hopefully all, all, Hopefully all 11 of our chicks are growing good still and uh, we'll hatch next week. So um, stay tuned for tomorrow.